Jet engines power modern airplanes, helping them soar at hundreds of miles per hour, high above the ground. But how exactly does a machine turn air into thrust strong enough to lift a massive metal tube into the sky? A jet engine is a type of reaction engine that discharges fast, moving jets of hot gas to produce thrust in accordance with Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. At its core, a jet engine works by drawing in air, compressing it, mixing it with fuel, igniting the mixture, and expelling the high-speed exhaust gases. These hot gases spin turbines which in turn power the engine's compressors and other components. Let's walk through the main components of a jet engine and what each one does. Front section, the very first part you see at the front of the engine. It sucks in a massive amount of air, both for combustion and for bypass. On modern commercial jets, about 80% of the air the fan pulls in goes around the engine, which is called bypass air, to provide additional thrust and cooling. The rest goes inside the engine core. Compressor is the middle section. After air goes through the fan, it enters the compressor. The compressor consists of multiple spinning blades and stationary blades. These blades squeeze the air tighter and tighter, raising both its pressure and temperature. The goal? Make the air dense and ready to explode safely. Combustion chamber is also called hot section. High pressure air from the compressor flows into the combustion chamber. Here, fuel is injected and ignited. This controlled explosion produces a super hot, high pressure stream of gases. This is where the magic happens. Chemical energy from the fuel turns into kinetic energy. Next part is turbine. Those hot, fast moving gases produced during combustion phase don't go to waste. They spin a set of turbine blades connected to the same shaft as the compressor. This means the engine uses some of the energy from the hot air to power itself. Basically, the engine is self sustaining once it started. Exhaust is the rear section. The leftover hot gases shoot out of the back of the engine through the nozzle. The force of this high speed jet of gas creates thrust, pushing the aircraft forward. This is the final stage in the process, and it's where Newton's third law kicks in. Jet engines are a remarkable blend of advanced engineering and physics. They operate on the basic principle of Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. The principle of working is simple. Air enters the engine through the intake and is compressed by a series of rotating blades. This high pressure air is then mixed with fuel and ignited in the combustion chamber. The resulting hot gases expand rapidly and shoot out the back of the engine through the exhaust nozzle, generating thrust that pushes the aircraft forward. Despite the high tech design and extreme conditions inside, the engine cycle, intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust follows a precise and efficient logic. So the next time you're on a flight, know that you're being propelled through the sky by a finely tuned, high-speed air, breathing machine built on solid physics.